Look, how much of an issue is this for your members, do you think? Well, as you heard in Joe's report, it's a massive issue. Uh, frankly, it's terrifying. Uh, and if you have a job to do, and it's a simple job really in many ways of delivering stuff from A to B uh, through, uh, through the channel, um, y you would expect to be able to do that safely. Uh, but as we've heard, uh, there are these highly organized, cynical, manipulative gangs who will do everything they can to relieve migrants of all their money. Uh, these migrants are desperate people, obviously hoping for a new life in the UK. Uh, these uh, gangs will then encourage acts of violence and disruption, as we've heard in the report, you know, roadblocks, uh, physical intimidation, uh, baseball bats, uh, you know, used as weapons of threat, and female lorry drivers threatened with rape and much else besides. Uh, this is a really evil trade, and it is high time that the authorities properly crack down on this, not weasel words, which is what we often get. Well, what can you, Rod, yourself, and, and, and you know, your organisation do to help them, to, to, do to, to set change in motion? Well, what we've done uh, from the hauliers' perspective is to give clear advice, which the driver in the report was clearly following, about not stopping near the ports, because the closer that you are to the ports, the higher concentration there is of, of these migrant gangs. So stopping far away to fill up, uh, get some food, have a toilet break, that's sensible. Uh, walk around checks, that was being done, that's really good practice. So I actually thought that uh, uh, what, what we heard in Joe's report was, was gold standard uh, security checks from the driver. Everyone should do that, but of course it's not just the driver. The driver can't deal with the problem at source, and it's up to the authorities to deal with these uh, migrant gangs uh, and the problem of uh, you know, illegal immigration. Well, you would imagine that the British and French authorities need to work together to try and prevent this stuff happening. And I wonder what the consequences of Brexit might be in this regard. You're absolutely right. I, I don't think it helps. Uh, and uh, it, it gives uh, the French authorities, in a way, an opportunity to kind of wash their hands of it. They've uh, perhaps, uh, on the ground, uh, been guilty of that in the past. Uh, and that's a real worry for us. Look, we, we all depend on European trade. Uh, we can't cut off a supply from Europe. It keeps Britain's businesses running. But the guys doing it uh, have to have a degree of security. Mm. And they're not getting it at the moment, and they need it. It's not fair on them. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much. Rob McKenzie uh, joining us, Managing Director of Policy and Public Affairs at the Road Haulage Association.